Hello everyone, so well today I'm going to ex be explaining how the life cycle in Unity works, specifically how when are the functions called. So there are many, there are many, many, many functions, but I'm going to go with the basics, the more the the ones that you're going to use more. So let's start. Here I have a simple script that I will attach to a object in our project that has many functions that we will be looking at and well we will start with the wake function so if for each one I just did a simple print so in the console it, be, it will be shown when, if the function has been called great so let's start by commenting every single one so it's easier for you to understand and see when a function is called and then we will be activating these comments. Great. So let's go to our project. So we have here an object, let's activate it, that it has this script that I just talked about, the lifecycle script, and is it's in the hierarchy, right? So we have it there in the scene. Now when will it be called? First of all, if we play if we have this object here and we start the play mode, the awake function will be called. Now, it won't be called ever again. It's only called once per object. So if we deactivate this, the script and activate it again, or we deactivate the whole object and activate it again, it will, won't be called ever again. It's just called once per object in its life. Perfect. Now, what if I have here a prefab that has the that has the script. So what if I add this to the screen to the to the scene? It's called. So each time, not only as soon as we start this, not as soon as we put the start, we start the play mode. It's as soon as the object is awakened. That's why it's called awake. So here I have the life cycle. It's I, I created it in the middle of the game and it will be called. Now in another another scenario is that the here the script isn't active. Now if the script isn't active and I instantiate it, it will be called again. So I can it can the, the script may not be instantiated it may not be active and the awake will be called so it doesn't matter if the script is active or not the important thing is that that the object is active so as soon as the object is active and it has this script then the awake function will be called now let's go to the next function on enable. So here I'll show you. We will comment awake and we will show on enable how it works. So on enable, let's start with the base that we have the object that is called lifecycle and in the lifecycle object we have the script. Let me there we go. In the life cycle, we have the script that is active, so that's the base, right? So, on enable will be called as soon as the start uh, is is played, right? And it will be called each time. So we disable the the, the script and we enable it, and it will be called. We disable, we enable it, it will be called, and each time if we disable the object and we enable the object then it will be called now if it's obviously if it's the the script is disabled and the object is disabled and now we enable the object it won't be called because we need to enable the script so as soon as the script is enabled then it will be called the same as if we instantiate an object that has this script as soon as it's created and the script is enabled, 
it will be called. Great. And if it's the script is enabled as soon as it, as it, it is created, then it will be called. So great. Now let's go to the next function. That is the start function. So we'll take that. Great. We'll exit the play mode. Great. So here we start from the base. We have again the lifecycle object active, the lifecycle script active, and we will start play mode. So in play mode, as soon as it starts, it will be called. So it's pretty much um, similar to what is awake. The difference is that when it's it's called only once in its life, but the difference is that if it's the script isn't enabled and we go to play mode, it won't be called. But as soon as soon as the script is enabled, it's called. So it will only it only we will be called once, but as soon as the script is enabled. This could be because in in at first, the let me see something here. Here, great. So here we have a prefab that the life life cycle isn't enabled, but the object is. So if it, we instantiate it, it won't be called as soon as we in activate it. It is called. If it's not activated, if the life if the prefab isn't activated here, and we instantiate it. It won't be called as soon. So imagine if I have this activated and as soon as I activate it, it's called. Great. Um, let's go to the next function. Oh, and something I want to say about the start function is that first the wake function will be called and then the start function will be called. That's something that will always always happen. So first the wake function and then the start function. Uh, great. And now let's go to update. Start and update are the functions that are most used. So these are, even when you create a script, they will appear automatically. So that they're really used. The update update function is called once per frame. So as soon as the script is activated, it doesn't matter. So let's put play. So, OK, so as soon as the script is activated, the update function will co be called once per frame. So you see, it's the update function is called constantly. As soon as I deactivate it, it stops. If I activate it and deactivate, the object it stops so as soon as everything is activated activated the object and the script it will be called if it's instantiated as soon as if it's instantiated then it will be called um and that's it it's it's called the update function is called right after the start function so first it's the start and then the update and well the start won't be called ever again great let's go to the next function that is called, this one is not, well, it's really, it's used pretty a lot, but the update and start functions are the ones that are mostly used. So here we have the application on quit. It's pretty understandable by the name, we can say. So let's clear this and let's enter play mode. So great, we are in play mode. I have this activated. Everything is activated. As soon as I stop the play mode, it will be called. So it's not necessary for the life cycle to be the script to be activated. So if it's disabled, if the script is disabled and I stop the play mode, it will be called. In the moment the only way that it won't be called if is if the object is inactive so if i 
enter the play mode and now stop the play mode it's not called so the object has to be active and the script isn't necessary to be active or not that's pretty much it now another function is on disable on disable is very similar to what is on enable but just the opposite you may imagine so let's start with everything active. There we go. And enter play mode. Great. Now if I disable the script, it will be called. As soon as I enable it and disable it again, it will be called. If I have the object inactive, it will be called as soon as it, it's inactive. I, I dis, if I activate it, and let's clear this so you can see, I deactivate, it will be called. And if I deactivate the object when the life cycle, the script is deactivated, so it won't be called. So it's just when the script is deactivated. It can be deacti deactivated in like, we can say three ways, just the script, the whole object or if the object is destroyed so great now let's go to the last function that it is on destroy on destroy is pretty simple it's literally called when the object is destroyed so when is the object destroyed there are two ways to be destroyed. When the object is deleted from the scene, so when we call the destroy function. So let's do that. Great, it's called. Here we call the destroy function. Or another way, let's instantiate it here. We'll create the object. Another way for it to be destroyed is we stop the game so let's clear this if we stop the game it's destroyed now notice that it's not necessary sorry not this one it's not necessary um, for the script to be active so let's do this again so so let's deactivate the script and delete it it's called so, well, these are the basic event functions. I hope it helped, and please subscribe and activate the notification bell. Goodbye.